Ooh, what up, family? Got a new supporter. It is March 22nd, 2021 in my city, Chicago. This is the wrap up portion of the day. I got 1046. It just turned, it was 1045. Now it's 1046. You understand what I'm saying? Moon Monday. It was a long day today. I felt like, you know, acting like something important or whatever and stuff. Nothing happened good for me other than, you know, I saved a few dollars because people at Best Buy, you know, wanted to turn up. You know, young M.A. say she know the difference between being used in love. Shit. That ain't even fucking what they doing to me. Yeah, I went to the Best Buy, 4100A North Harlem Avenue. Norridge, Illinois, 60706. Everything is pertaining to me. Yeah, it's just so much. Yeah, um, yeah, I tried to buy another tablet because I had sat on the other one that I bought from Walmart for about 40 bucks. Look at this sales tax, 525. My birthday. Yeah, and uh, guess who? was trying to, you know, sell it to me. He did sell it to me, but it was a bunch of nonsense. You know, um, his name was Jordan. He was a white guy. You know, and you know, it looked like they took a little huddle before they decided to pick him to come holler at me and stuff. And I really kind of liked it, but you know, they wanted, it's it's Amazon and all that. I just wanted regular Google and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? There's too much going on and stuff. And you know, motherfuckers was trying to, like, confuse me and then bring their little people in and make it seem like they doing so much because when I first went in, and you know how I go, don't be nobody in that motherfucker. And then, you know, they just trying to use me to, you know, so they can steal and shit or whatever and stuff. So I, I was, after about, you know, 30 minutes of seeing, you know, what's going on, he trying to act like he's so important and all that, and I'm supposed to be waiting, and, you know, to see how, you know, the, operated or whatever and stuff and I was just going you know but I, something told me you understand what I'm saying cuz that was a long fucking ride and shit I would have been mad as fuck so you know I was like you know I I don't you know I don't want this and the guy who I was trying to get to help me the most cuz you know Jordan was so busy with other customers and stuff the guy that was greeting people you understand what I'm saying? He was just going back and forth and stuff. You know, bragging about his Apple 12 or whatever and stuff. That shit costs about a thousand dollars. I'm trying to figure out how do how do you fucking goddamn afford a fucking Apple 12 and you a greeter at Best Buy. You know, hey, family, you need to step your game up. Go get a job at fucking Best Buy shit if they got it like that. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. But anyway, you know. He was just irritating me and stuff. I'm trying to show them some things and, you know, they just timed everything. I ain't got time for that shit. So I was like, you know what? They was, the black girl was helping the uh, white lady in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? I was like, excuse me, you know, when she got done with her, you know, she act like, you know, I was a nobody. So, you know, they treat me like I'm a nobody and I don't need that. I don't need that attitude and stuff for real. So, you know, I was like, you know me. I was like, um, you know, I don't, I don't think I want to be bothered with this and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? For real. I sat on my other one, man. I'm mad at that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie and shit. And I threw that motherfucker out and shit. This the killer part. My every move is a calculated step. I threw the motherfucker out. Then I went to the goddamn, um, Cash America, you know, the pawn shop. And guess what? I seen the same one for a you know, 30 some dollars and stuff. Now, I could have gotten that one. You understand what I'm saying? But
but it's just something about other people's stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially electronics. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it just... You don't want to do electronics and stuff, you know. And it was only it was if it was ten dollars, I would have got it, cause I only paid like forty something dollars for it new. You understand what I'm saying? They wanted thirty something, you know what I'm saying? Used, and I'm like, so what I realized what they did after I finished telling you this motherfucking shit about um uh, about the so-called greeter and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You know, he just I'm telling, I'm saying, man you know, kind of like explain it to me or whatever, you know, because he said you got to settle for a uh, Amazon account or whatever and stuff. I said, I got, I said, I got Google, you know, I should be able to just go, no, you got to set up an Amazon. I, and I said, well, you know, he said, you know, then he tried to make it seem like I was slow and shit. And I said, well, you know, I am kind of slow and I represent a lot of people and stuff just in case, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't, you know, savvy. And then the fucking Google, the um, geek person and stuff, you know, they wait to see if, and then they try to say they say they're all busy. I said you weren't gonna help me anyway, and I heard them under his breath say, "No, no, I wasn't," you know, or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? Now they want to make it seem like they so busy, but they ain't busy. You understand what I'm saying? They just don't want to help our people, so you know we can't really support them with them with that technology shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's it's a, you know, what I'm saying it's a waste of money anyway and shit. That's why I motherfucking got them uh Jay Z. You know, Blueprint or whatever and shit. He had a, I think it was Blue Blueprint three, and he had all that electronics stacked up and shit. You know, a lot of bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to be caught up in that and shit. You know, you can't if they can't help a person. You know, for real, for real. It's me they don't want to help. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I was feeling some kind of way. I really did want it because it was nice and stuff. And I was like, you know, it ain't worth the hassle and stuff. It ain't worth my dignity. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. And my, them humiliating me and people just study piling in and stuff just to see the show or whatever. And I'm like, I ain't got time for that. So, you know, I got in the, in the customer service line and stuff because I wanted to pay for it over there anyway, right? You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And Jordan was like, no, you can pay for it over here and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? They had like a high chair. It looked like a baby high chair or whatever and stuff. And, you know, I noticed that. And I I gave him, you know, $100, right? Yeah, I gave him $100 and shit. And, you know, he insisted that, you know, he first he was like, pay over here. And then I was like, what about here? And then he's like, well, I said, what about over there? Now, this is how I know it was some funny business and stuff. Pay attention. He was like, no, you can pay for it right here and stuff. But I wanted to pay for it at the customer service and stuff. And I knew I could have paid for it there, right? And he's like, you know, I said, okay, cool, no problem. And I went on out and stuff and I tried to use my phone. And it wouldn't work. My, um, I, this one right here, you understand what I'm saying? And, it, you know, just the battery wouldn't hold or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And so that was my high power say, you need to check this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, for real, the new one, you understand what I'm saying? So I sat down, you know, then I went back in there and then, you know, and then that's when all the problems started. So, you know, now I'm in the customer service line trying to get my money back and they didn't call, guess who? The custom, the motherfucker that was greeting motherfucker, now he all up in my business, now he got time for a nigga. And I'm like, hey, I want the $100 bill that I gave Jordan and stuff, and it was over there. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. And it wasn't in customer service. He said, no, I'll just give you the 80 some dollars. No, 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 no. No. I want the $100 bill because I don't want a George Floyd situation. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to win this because dude was shitting on me. You know, making me seem slow and shit like that and getting everybody else involved and stuff. And he was the greeter. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, he did a whole lot of fucking maneuvering. It's all that magically delicious shit, whatever. And he took $100 out the customer service drawer, went over to the other motherfucking goddamn register where I originally gave $100. And I was like, man, I don't see no $100 in that motherfucking shit. You understand what I'm saying? And his ass was like, oh, I got to do this, and I do this, and then, and then, you know, he did some stuff, and then he opened up the drawer, and then he lifted the, um, 
drawer and got the hundred dollars or whatever and then he put the paper in and did some more stuff i said i give you this hundred dollars if that hundred dollars is in that motherfucking goddamn drawer you understand what i'm saying real fucking tough and he was like you know he didn't want to do that and stuff right and so he because he took it from the drawer that i gave him gave the money to jordan originally and took it to the fucking goddamn uh customer took it to customer service and put it in that drawer, did a little something, something. You understand what I'm saying? And then, you know, you know, gave me, you know, the hundred dollars and a whole bunch of drama and stuff. So I was like, you know what? He was looking all kind of some kind of way because I didn't look to see, you know, what was the numbers on the hundred dollars. So I didn't feel comfortable either way. You understand what I'm saying? It was some funny business. I felt it. And he was too arrogant. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And I said, you know, I need to, uh, I need to get something out of here. What's the cheapest thing? Where your batteries at? And then I ended up getting a mini made uh, pop, and this is the killing part, right? It came out to, you know, two dollars and seventeen cents, something like that. And I got ninety-seven dollars back. And I told the Mexican guy at the customer service where I wanted to pay. You know, anyway, I gave him the hundred dollars and he gave me, you know, um, you know, ninety seven dollars and some change or whatever and stuff. Now, the killing part is I told him to give me all tens and stuff for real, for real. And. Um, you know, he gave me he gave he gave me all tens. And I still ended up, you know, because God never fails me keeping it 100 with myself. I got 10 tens. You understand what I'm saying? Because you never count your money until you get through. You understand what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, because I never lose. Real fucking tough. And not only that, across the street, they got a, um, we fix it. You break it, we fix it right across the street from the Best Buy. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking tough. Right across the street. But not only that, this is what I got from it too. It says, life doesn't stop for broken tech. As in technology. You understand what I'm saying? I never needed this shit from the beginning. What is for me is for me. And to the motherfucking greeter, I was greeting motherfuckers before he got to them and shit when I was in the hallway trying to figure out that damn thing and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And then somebody did try to help me and they finessed him and in the end he called me and, you know, he said, all right, have a good night, sir. You understand what I'm saying? They still be trying to be funny, but we the people, even though we may be slow, for the people, you know, are the people. You understand what I'm saying? This is for George Floyd, real fucking talk. And I told dude, I said, I don't want no George Floyd incident. And he got us, he got hostile with me. Now I wanted to come over here from the beginning, you know, to the customer service and pay for it. But Jordan was on some bullshit and I still paid for the pop at the customer service. You understand what I'm saying? So why couldn't I go over there from the beginning? So who really fucking see if they lie, they cheat, they cheat, they steal, they steal, they kill and destroy. Real fucking talk. I never lose. So, this going out to my girl, ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs also. You understand what I'm saying? Let me see if I can find it. Real fast. If not, it ain't meant. It ain't meant for it. Alright. This says Chicago to Manhattan. When I first met her, I put this song, you know, Manhattan accommodation and gave it to her and stuff for real you know what i'm saying let's just kiss and say goodbye you understand what i'm saying game over man real fucking talk on my mama hey so i didn't get i didn't get what i wanted but this motherfucker working still so it don't make a damn difference and shit and i went to target also across the street and they made it look like it was a hundred something dollars but it was the same price but Somebody would have thought it was a hundred something dollars. I think if I would have bought it, it would have went up. I'm glad I didn't. That is good on this point. Maybe that's when it may release. Peace.